going on everybody my name is bob from aesthetic imprints and i run a custom apparel screen printing and embroidery company all out of my parents basement and today in this video i'm taking you guys along with me and doing a multicolor screen print from start to finish here's the design that we're going to be printing so let's go take a closer look at this we are on photoshop shout out to my boy yoga for getting these separations made for me but this is the design that we are printing as you can see it's pretty simple but it's a multi-color design about four colors in this case we're printing it on white shirts so we don't need this black shirt layer so we don't even need an underbase but in this case this would be the underbase but we're not going to need that since the shirt is already white and then we're going to print our green our green and then orange and then the brown for the body and lastly the black to make up this design so let's go ahead and get these printed out and let's go start preparing the screens and now that we got the films burned let's go ahead and start grabbing our screens and getting them burned right, now that we got all the transparency sheets burned in this case it's going to be a four color design so let's go ahead and grab our screens now since there's no half tones or super tiny details I'm going to go ahead and use a 156 mesh for all four of these screens. So again, I'm going to be using a 156 mesh. So let's go do this. And now we got three custom Pantone colors that we have to mix up. So I'm just going to go ahead and start mixing that up. As you can see, we're just throwing colors in there, making magic. As you can see, that orange is looking beautiful. And then we got to mix up like a tealish green for the trees. And lastly, the brown for the skin. All right, now that I got the screens all dried up and I got the ink all mixed up, let's go ahead and load this up onto the press and get it prepared. Now I went ahead and zeroed out all the heads, so now let's go ahead and load this up on here. Let me do that. Tree. Brown. And then the black. And now in order to screen print a multi-color design, in this case a four color design, we have to register all four of those screens to the same exact spot so that the ink colors line up in the same spot and the colors are not out of registration or else the design is just not going to look how it's supposed to look. So there it is. You see me making those micro adjustments, trying to get all the screens to line up to that transparency film and get it as accurate as I can. All right, I think I finally got it registered. I even did more behind the scenes where I didn't record the time lapse just to get it dialed in because registration can be a pain sometimes and it takes a while, but embrace it. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and load it up with ink and start doing a test print, see how the registration and everything looks. Now in the middle of trying to record this content for you all, I put the damn wrong ink on the wrong screen. So here I am trying to clean it up and fix my issue. Quick fix was to just go ahead and throw some clear tape on there and get it done with and add the green ink on top of that. And problem solved. Think smarter, not harder. And nothing special going on over here. I'm just adding my water-based adhesive because I don't like using the spray mist because if you use a spray mist, you're just making a mess on your press. Your press is going to look dirty. The spray mist is going to go everywhere. So I use water-based palette adhesive and it's easy. I'm going to do a test print on this white shirt. 
First things first, we print the green. Send it under the flash. That's good. Then we print the orange. And lastly, I'm going to print the black. Boom. Wow, registration looks spot on. All right, y'all, check this test print out. As you can see, that looks spot on to what it's supposed to look like on the screen. And that's the shirt that we just printed. I'm liking how that looks. All right, you guys, this print is so smooth. It looks exactly like the design is supposed to look. The colors are all perfect, perfectly matched. Stretch test is good. There's only one issue. This is where I would say let's begin full production and start running production. But there's as much as I would love to just start printing right now and get it over with, there's a small tweak I want to make. So what I ended up doing and having my separator guy do is yoga. I had him choke the black, add, add an extra stroke to the black to thicken it up just to make sure registration was going to be on par and it would be tight. But what that ended up doing is if you look at the headphones, if you see his headphones, it barely shows up. This is with the stroke on the black. But this is me printing the green at the end. As you can see, the green is supposed to show like that on the headphones. And here, the way I have it right now set up, it doesn't. So how do you fix that? This is the black screen with the stroke. I'm going to go revert back and I got to go remake a screen for the black. I'm keeping it real with you guys right now. Um, shit happens, so I got to remake that screen. And the conveyor tire, everything is all warmed up, but whatever. Let's go remake the screen, and I'll see you in the next shot. All right, here I am. I remade the screen, and now you'll just see me trying to register the new screen back up to this design. So I'm right there adding the new screen, taping it up, uh, making sure no ink escapes. And now I'm just registering it up to that design. And I'm just doing a bunch of test prints. I did a test print, didn't like the registration, messed with it some more, contemplated, messed with it some more. You know, the screen print is just all about messing with it and just being patient. Oh, finally. What's going on, everybody? As you guys saw, I went ahead and re-registered, did all the things needed that needed to be done. Here is the final print. Check that out. As you can see, the headphones show up more up here. Side headphones and the side part shows up. Overall, this looks great. I'm happy. I did have to do it again because here, as you can see, it doesn't show at all. But here, it does just like the design. And this looks bright, vibrant. I'm happy with this. Oh, these are just very minuscule details and I'm just being very picky about it wanted to get right but now that it all looks good we're going to be printing on these white t-shirts right here these are the these are the los angeles apparel 6.5 ounce garment dye t-shirt so we're going to be printing on this this has the tighter neck we got about 100 of them let's begin full production <laughs>
everybody. As you can see, the shirts are right here. 100 t-shirts, four color screen prints came out fantastic. And we went ahead and bagged these bad boys up. As you can see, bagging them up just goes the longest way. Gives it that retail finished look. And honestly, when it's all laid out, you really can't beat this look because it just looks quality. It just makes the shirts look 10 times better. It, the bags make a big difference. You guys should really invest in that. And shout out to my mom for helping out folding these, bagging them, and helping out while I was printing. So that really goes a long way. Shout out to her. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Me taking you guys along with me in screen printing, multicolors, step by step from burning the screens, getting the transparencies printed, burning them onto the screen, getting it registered onto the press, mixing the custom Pantone colors and just getting it all ready and printed up like this. As you can see, I'm happy with how these came out. These are on the Los Angeles 6.5 ounce oversized garment wash tees. I like how these came out. And shout out to Jake for reaching out to me. He actually found me from YouTube. This is his clothing brand and he reached out to me and went ahead and we made this vision come to life. I'm super happy with how these came out. As you can see, here's the mock-up, here's the design. We're really bringing visions to life. And if you want to work and you need t-shirts printed, hoodies printed, whatever you need, let's build a brand, let's connect, let's network. Go ahead and reach out to me on Instagram right here. Follow me on Instagram, reach out to me. Go to my website, fill out the contact uh, inquiry form. I'd love to work with you. And I'll definitely get in contact with you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like this video, subscribe. Join the grind, join the family. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. This is like 52 pickup, but instead of a deck of cards, it's a bunch of t-shirts. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't be excited as hell when they open this box up?